After Conor Ben's interview on TV last night, Chris Eubank Jr. took to Twitter to say the following. I was 99% sure Conor Ben was a cheat, but after watching that interview last night, now I'm 100% sure. Imagine failing two drug tests and then trying to play the victim. The balls on this kid, or should I say, the eggs on him. <laughs> and it's good to see that that devastating KO defeat that Eubank Jr. suffered to Liam Smith a few weeks ago hasn't dampened his spirit. He's still got banter. And that's what I like to see. It's kind of like when Dylan White got knocked out by Alexander Povetkin. I was wondering where he was going to be at psychologically because a lot of fighters get really scarred by experiences like that. But Dylan White was right back out on Front Street talking smack about other fighters, trolling people and all that kind of thing. And to me, that seemed like a good sign because he wasn't acting out of character. He was just carrying on as normal. If he'd gone missing and hadn't said anything, then it would be more worrisome. And look, sometimes fighters can act. They can put on a front and try and pretend as though everything is the same as it used to be. But really, they're all shook up like Elvis Presley psychologically by what just happened to them. But evidently, looking at Dylan White's performance in a Povetkin rematch, he wasn't pretending. He wasn't acting. He genuinely got over that Povetkin defeat very quickly from a psychological and emotional perspective. Maybe not neurologically, but psychologically, he managed to get over it. And so to see Chris Eubank Jr. coming out, trolling Conor Ben already, <laughs> to me, that's a good sign. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did Conor Ben come across well in that interview? Or do you agree with Eubank Jr. that he just made himself look worse, made himself look even more guilty? Or perhaps you feel the opposite. Maybe you're one of these people who thinks that because he came on there with a tear in his eye and was talking about his mental state and all this kind of thing, tugging at the heartstrings, that it's convinced you he's innocent without the need for a British board and UCAD investigation, such that you're willing to overlook the fact that he won't submit this document to them. Perhaps you think that pride, quote unquote, is a justifiable excuse for not doing so. Whichever camp you're in, let me know in the comment section. And I'll just say this, human error is a real thing. It does happen. There's no reason to suppose that PED testing is immune from human error. Therefore, which fighters over the years have been a victim of it? Because there must surely be some fighters that have been a victim of it, right? Is Conor Ben one of those fighters? In my mind, it's possible. I'm not saying it's probable. Don't get it twisted. Don't misquote me. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. There's a big difference between what's possible and what's probable. It's possible that you might win jackpot on the lottery. But is it probable? No. But there is a chance of sample contamination. There likely are certain fighters out there who are actually innocent but got thrown under the bus by boxing fans because they didn't have the resources to be able to prove it. Conor Ben, on the other hand, does have a lot of resources. And if this 270-page dossier proves his innocence, once again we ask, why not submit it to the British Boxing Border Control and UCAD? I'll leave it there. Catch you on the next one. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalog of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called the Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.